Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S3, root.com. Um, so today we're going to turn our Verizon Galaxy S3 into a world phone. Um, so we can put any SIM. Uh, for the test, we're going to use AT&T and T-Mobile. Now for the US networks, you'll be able to get uh, voice and data. Um, just uh, you'll be stuck on edge because Verizon has locked down the US bands. T-Mobile uses 1700 megahertz and the AT&T uses 1900 megahertz. Um, we're still trying to figure out, all the developers are trying to figure out, uh, but you can get edge and voice. And uh, the rest of the world uses 2100 megahertz, um, Europe, most of Asia. So you should be able to get 3G HSPA plus fine on um, worldwide. So you can turn your Verizon Galaxy S3 into a world phone while, while you're traveling. Now this method will use, oh it's 420, did you see that? It was just random. Um, anyway, happy 420. Uh, hi on Android, hi on Android. Anyway, um, so I'm getting 4G LT right now on Verizon. Um, if you're going to travel, you can do this. Uh, before we begin, you will need a rooted phone. Alright, um, make sure you root your phone. And you need to be on a TouchWiz based ROM for this method. Um, Actually, it will. It works on CM10. Also, the method is slightly different. Um, I'll have another video on that. But um, go ahead and get a TouchWiz based ROM. I've got actually my own ROM, high on Android ROM for Verizon here. Um, so let's do this. I've got high on Android version 0.3. So you got your phone rooted. Um, you can be on. Uh, just gotta be rooted. And uh, you can install my ROM if you want to. You need to go download this these apps. Um, in uh, phone info, all right. Phone info, that one, all right. And then next, you'll need to download uh, APM Manager. Now, there's like two different versions. Don't get the weird version. Get the a pay version. It's like a dollar ninety-five. Totally worth it. Makes everything easier. Um, go ahead and install it. And also, you'll need Titanium Backup. So those are three apps you need. Uh, I'm not sure if you need a uh, pro version. I have the pro version, but I'm going to try it without the pro version. So let me put these apps here. You got the APM Manager, Phone Info, and uh, oh, this app's kind of cool. Open Signal. It shows you how close you are to a tower. And uh, also Titanium Backup. There we go. These three apps you need. Uh, first thing you're going to do is uh, open up Titanium Backup app and uh, you have to turn convert the APM Manager app into a system app um, with the newer ICS. You have to do that, otherwise you can't um, change the APM. So go ahead and click on APM Manager Pro, swipe to the right, all right, and there should be an option uh, convert to system app. There we go. So you don't need the pay version, I think. Oh no, you know what? You do need the pro version. So go ahead and buy Titanium Backup Pro also. I highly recommend it uh, for just backing up your apps. Um, definitely worth it. So you need to actually download the pro key and the, the free version. This is just a key. And then let's try that again. Uh, go to Backup and Restore. And uh, hit on APM Manager Pro. Swipe to the right and convert to system app, all right? And this is uh, required. So now we've gotten, um, we converted into system app, all right? Uh, we are all pretty much ready to go. Um, go ahead and plug in. Uh, actually, what you want to do is, actually, let's open up that app. Where is it? Uh, APM Manager Pro, all right? Open it up, and uh, you'll want to insert APN um, for this, You'll have to go Google the APN settings for whatever country you're traveling to. Find out, let's say Mexico. Mexico has uh, Mexico AT&T or something. Go type Mexico AT&T APN settings. Go find that settings and insert it all here. Um, for this one, I'm going to put AT&T and T-Mobile. All right, AT&T. Oops, ATT. Uh, this doesn't matter. It's just a name. Uh, for APN, um, for AT&T you have to type either PTA uh, that's that's PTA or you can type WAP.singular I'm just gonna do WAP.singular both should work uh, in lowercase exactly like that and also uh, this is important 
MCC should be 310 and 410 for AT&T, all right? Those three things are re just required um, to just get your, you know, data working. You can fill all these other ones uh, if you want to. Go ahead and, you know, I'll have AT&T uh, settings you can fill in, but I'm not going to I'm, because I'm not going to show you how to connect MMS and all this stuff. Um, but those are the basic requirements, APN and MCCM and NC, and that will get your data working and uh, voice voice should work without that. This is for data. So save, all right. So, and I'm gonna since I'm gonna test with uh, T-Mobile, and we can insert it later also. All right. Um, so once that's set, uh, go ahead and insert it before you travel to another country um, for that country. And if there's more than one carrier, you can put more than one carrier. All right. So next, I'm gonna turn off my phone. Let's take the battery out real quick. Get rid of my Verizon. I'm gonna. Uh, imagine that I'm in another country, right? So let's say uh, I'm in Brazil or something. And this is Brazilian AT&T, if they have the Brazilian AT&T. And I'll, I'll uh, swap out my card. All right, and I'll be like, I don't want to get a, a rental phone. I'm going to keep using my phone. Um, and uh, basically, all you're going to do is uh, change the 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 uh, device the 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 modem to from CDMA to global mode and then that's pretty much it and also change the APN those two things all right this phone is supposed to be a world phone um, Verizon just hasn't enabled it so now I'm getting non Verizon sim you don't have to worry about it go to phone info all right go to device information all right here this is actually for Verizon, okay? LTE, CDMA, EVDO. Now we're gonna get put it into uh, glo um, global mode. So go ahead and choose global, or you can also choose LTE, GSM, WCDMA, either or. I'm gonna put global, and you should be able to now get voice since the uh, the mode on your phone has been changed to uh, GSM, global. Give it, give it another minute or so. There you go. So I've got signal now, and uh, let's make a test call to 411, and we should get Verizon 411 real quick here. I mean, I mean AT and T. So now my uh, my phone's working. Great. So what about data? Uh, so that's where APN comes in. So you're gonna go to APN Manager, go to APN List. And you're going to go find the APN you inserted it earlier, whoops, which is down here, uh, which is ATT. That's the one I made, I think, yeah. Or is that, well, yeah, ATT. All right, now you should get edge data or 3G. Um, if, if you try this outside of Europe, uh, theoretically, you're supposed to get 3G. So it depends where you are at. But for U.S. carriers, it's locked down, so you're not going to get... Uh, 3G, you're going to be stuck on edge because all the developers are still trying to figure it out. Um, if you're not getting anything, then you can try PTA. So what I'm going to, oh, never mind, I got it. So there you go. So edge, edge is kind of slow, but uh, at least my phone's working. And let's load up and gadget. Um, so now my phone's working and, uh, you know, is working and if you're in another country again if you set the APN right you should be getting 3G or HSPA plus uh, for the LTE it's probably locked down you're not going to be able to use LTE other than if you're on Verizon um, so there you go and now let's try another test let's try it on T-Mobile so I'm going to swap out for my T-Mobile card here and uh, there we go And uh, this would be great if you're traveling to another country. Um, you know, you'll be able to, you'll be able to keep using your phone. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, but one more note: if you do travel to another country, it's really good to have T-Mobile because T-Mobile has Wi-Fi calling, uh, which means you know, even if you're another country, if, if you have a Wi-Fi connected, um, it's like you can make free calls in the U.S. It's just like connected to 
um, the US servers. Oh, there you go. So I've got Edge right there, and let me call 411. I didn't have to do anything. Uh, it's probably because I set it up. It automatically switched the um, the APNs. So here we go. So you got that T-Mobile uh, 411. So my phone's working, and let's go check out the APN manager here. It actually switched TMO automatically. Uh, sometimes it does that. If it doesn't, you can change it to TMO. I've I, I've actually inserted before this video. That's probably you didn't see it. But let me show you my settings. For T-Mobile, all you need is uh, epc.tmobile.com for data, and also MCC should be 310, MNC should be 260. That's all you need for data, and uh, for MMS messages and stuff, um, you can enter all that. But I don't bother because I don't use it. Uh, I use Google Voice, so it's you know, as long as I have internet connection. Uh, but there you go. And now you should be getting Google, and you're on Edge service. For um, yeah, it's kind of slow, still loading. Edge service for yeah. for T-Mobile. Now let's go ahead and switch back to Verizon. Let's say you took the plane back from Brazil, whatever. And you're you're landed, and you're like, you know, I need my 4G LTE back. So go ahead and sw swap swap it back out while you're in the plane. And as you as soon as you land, simply start your phone and switch back to LTE using the phone info. And the APN should, uh, you know, restore itself automatically. Now, if you have some kind of trouble um, getting 4G LTE back when you come back. What you can do also is uninstall APN Manager app uh, using Titanium Backup app. What that will do is take out all the changes you did in APN um, Manager. Oops, we got cut off there. I don't know how much of it got cut off. Anyway, uh, once you come back to the US and you need 4G LTE, simply re-put your uh, 4G LTE phone and uh, SIM card, sorry, and then start your phone and go to Phone Info, Device Information and switch the global back to LTE CDMA EVDO and you should be back in business and also you can go to APM manager and switch it back but it automatically um, found found the right APM for me um, you can go here and change it back to uh, one of the Verizon ones here uh, it should be it should be one of these. You can also go to settings, more settings, uh, mobile networks, access point names. It'll let you choose. Uh oh, doesn't show you. Um, it should give you a choice. Yeah, there you go. It's it's uh, it's one of these these ones. I know Verizon has a bunch of them. Oh, so it's LTE Verizon Internet. You can try that one. That should work. Or the uh, the other one with the internet. Um, EP, EHRPD. Um, you know, I'll just use the one bottom here. Now, if you have trouble and you can't get 4G LTE back, what you can do is go to Titanium Backup app and uh, uninstall, uninstall APN Manager. So go here, uninstall. All right, and this will erase all the settings you've been, you know, working on and uh, restore all your APNs the way it was before you started all this mess. Go ahead and reboot and I'll show you that in mobile settings you have um, all the Verizon APNs back. So I'll be back when this reboots. Uh, while this rebooting I'll show you what I've been working on. Um, well, what's, what's working for me. I've unlocked my T-Mobile Galaxy S3 uh, using one of those SIM unlocking sites. Uh, AT&T card works just fine but you'll not get any uh, 4G LTE just a note um, but I just want to give you that I think out of my out of battery here so here we go and uh, I should be getting 4G LTE let me go to settings uh, more settings mobile networks and access point names and you'll see that all your APNs gone, gone, and also all the extra ones you've uh, used are gone. Um, so that's how you can restore it. And uh, let's check that 411 is working on my Verizon now. Verizon Wireless 411. 
There you go. So that's how you can turn your Verizon Galaxy S3 into a world phone. Again, this will work outside the US. You'll get 3G and HSPA plus. Um, just in the US, you, it's not gonna work, so I wasn't able to show you actually working. But if you get the APNs right, it should work. Anyway, that's how you um, do it. And I'll have another uh, video with uh, CM10 AOK P ROMs. Those are pretty much similar. You you can just you don't even need those apps. You can actually enter the APN in the um, in the settings. Anyway, thanks you guys. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus if you have one of those. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And uh, uh, if you have a Galaxy S3, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com. We update you uh, once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. Uh, and thanks, you guys. And, uh, um, you know, that was kind of cool. We saw 420. Stay high on Android. Yeah. And see y'all later.